All right, how we solve a rational inequality when I have one side already at zero? Great, that's already in my general form that I need. So all I need to do is find the zeros. So first off, I'm gonna set the top one to zero, x plus five equals zero, which means x equals negative five. And here, if I set x minus four equals zero, it means x equals four. So the only places that I can change directions are at negative five and four. So what I'm gonna do is make a number line. I'm gonna negative five, a four, and what I'm going to do is the following. I need to test, look at look up here. Can negative five be part of the answer? Well, notice it's in the numerator and it says less than zero, so it can be, and five, negative five is part of the answer. I don't know whether it's left or right here. And when I go here and look at the next one, can four be part of the answer? See, it's in the denominator. And if I make that a four minus four here at zero, can you have zero in the denominator? No, so four is not part of the solution. So that means the numbers are left or right or four, but are not in four. Well, how can I find out what they are? Well, I'm gonna pick a number left and negative five, and I'm gonna pick the easiest one, like negative six. I'm gonna pick a number between negative five and four, and the easiest one will be zero. And a number greater than four, and probably the easiest one will probably be five. And then I'm gonna to come to my little problem, and notice I'm talking about this interval here, now smaller than negative five, that's what that means, all the numbers from negative infinity to negative five, and I'm gonna pick one, I'm gonna pick one here between negative five and four, and it can need negative five, can't part of the answer. And four is not part of the answer as it goes to infinity. Here are my three choices I gotta test. And I picked a value like negative six, and I plug it in. If I plug negative six into the five, well, it's gonna be a negative one over negative 10, and a negative over a negative makes a positive. Now look up here. Am I looking for positive answers? I am not. So then I know then that that is not part of the solution, that negative values smaller than negative five are not an answer. So now let's go to my second one here. And I remember here I picked zero. So I'm gonna put zero in. Well, zero, I love zero because that just means I have five over negative four, right? And that is a negative. And so those values are good. So I know that I have the numbers between there are good. And now I'm gonna test my last one. Greater is number greater than four. So I put a five in. 5 plus 5 is 10. Oh, that's a positive. And notice, I'm looking for values that are negative. So that is not a solution. So my only answer is right here. The answer is the values between negative 5 and 4, and it can equal negative 5. That's why it's a bracket on the negative 5 and a parentheses on the 4. And this is my answer for this particular equation right here.